and now to make a repeat video of the video that I just recorded with sound. Because the last time I had a crack at it, I forgot to turn the microphone on. That's five minutes of my life I'll never get back. On a lighter note, um, yesterday in physics, uh, when we were sitting down there, you know, normal kind of physics lesson, I was just plodding along with it, everyone was having a cracker of a good time, um, Mr. Kingsley, Mr. Kingsley, not sure if I'm allowed to say his name on the internet, Williams, <laughs> um, basically explained to us this amazing principle that I thought I would all share with you. So I'm going to give you a physics lesson via the internet. Huh. Now physics pioneers would be proud. Um, so, here it goes. Okay, so, you stay in physics. I'll, I'll set the scene. I'll, I'll, I'll set up the, the previous knowledge that is required here. Okay, so for the term, this term, we are studying light, as it is, as a particle. So that is saying that what light in fact is, is bundles of tiny, tiny, teensy-weensy, itsy-bitsy particles uh, called photons, which fly around the place and bounce into things and bounce off things, and then we can read them using our eyes and such. Um, so that's basically what we're, what we're exploring, um, this concept. So a couple of decades or so ago, you know, way, way back when, in before physics awesomeness land, um, we, uh, this, we were basically trying to figure out how to determine the position of an electron. Now, this was just after they had actually developed the original working semi-model for an atom. So they had the whole concept of the electron spinning around the nucleus and blah, blah, blah. And so they're saying, okay, so how can we actually determine the right position of an electron? Hmm. Okay, so then this guy called Heisenberg comes along, and he says, well, let's see. How do you determine the exact position of an electron? Or any object, for that matter. I suppose all you need to do is bombard it with radiation of some kind, so light any sort of thing like that, UV, whatever you fancy really, there's a whole cocktail of them out there, um, and then use some kind of device or a other kind of the thing as a receiver, so something that gets those bounced off waves and then interprets them as an image or of some description or a locating device. Uh, so he basically said, all right, so what we have to do is just bombard electrons with some waves and then use something to read them. It's a pretty radical concept, really. Um, uh, but before he even started this process of using experimentation in order to define the exact location of an electron, he stopped. Time and space itself lost meaning for just a moment. And then he said, hang on a minute. So if light are these tiny, tiny, incy wincy little bitty, itty particles called photons that bounce off things, and electrons are these tiny, incy wincy tiny, little, itty bitty particles as well, and that means when a photon hits an electron, yeah, photon, electron, mm, boing, they should bounce off each other, so conservation of momentum and all that. So he basically started thinking, well, okay, so if light hits an electron and then bounces back to a receiver to determine its location, the location of the electron itself is actually changed by that process. So the very act of using a method to divine the location of an electron changes the location of an electron. So, by that principle, you know, light bouncing off everything and us seeing it and all that kind of stuff, so I hold my finger up, light being the radiation, eyes being the receiver, I can see my fingers there. But, but, now with this new principle, I know that my finger is not actually there. We can never, ever determine the exact location of an electron, a subatomic particle, or any matter 
at all. Ever. And now my finger isn't exactly there. All my life I've been living a lie. I... I was thinking that my, my eyes were these accurate windows into our universe and my finger isn't actually there. And I will never know exactly where my finger is. Because as soon as I look at it, it's in a different place. Good grief. It's... Hello, Mum. It's... It's just... It's mind-boggling. I just had to share that with you all. And I know that for all the people who find physics boring, this will then, by consequence, be very boring. But for all those people who do physics and are uh, extremely nerdy and find that kind of stuff interesting, all those people who do physics and drama, or physics or drama, and like making a massive deal of things, this is the massive deal! This is huge! I will never again be able to determine the exact location of anything! And that's the end of the video!